parallel execution skew means that there is a problem with the work distribution among parallel execution servers, which can lead to various deviations from the ideal work distribution pattern, which could be pictured like this here. Which means that the parallel execution effectively operates at a lower degree, leading to longer execution times, and we are therefore talking about the performance issue that is specific to parallel execution. If you want to learn more about that, watch the video tutorial part called Introduction. A parallel execution plan is organized in so-called data flow operations. Typically, but not necessarily, parallel execution skew is caused by so-called data redistributions, for which those data flow operations are organized in parent-child form. Two sets of parallel execution servers are used in such a case that communicate then via so-called table queues. These data flow operations are organized in so-called DFO trees and a single parallel execution plan can actually consist of multiple such DFO trees which can have some interesting side effects. If you want to learn more about that, watch the video tutorial part called DFOs and DFO trees. Parallel execution skew is not uncommon but hard to detect and measure and therefore possibly one of the most overlooked and underestimated performance problems. Partially this is because the typically used tools to analyze SQL performance like SQL Trace and DBMSX Plan Display Cursor are not very well suited for analyzing parallel execution in general and SKU in particular. A systematic approach to analyzing parallel execution SKU involves two steps. In the first step it is determined whether there is SKU at all and if the severity of SKU and if there is skew, and in the second step the skew is analyzed on execution plan line level. How you can do that depends on whether you have a diagnostic or a tuning pack license or not. If you do not have one, then the analysis is mainly based on the view called v$pqtqstat, which unfortunately comes with various limitations and bugs. If you want to learn more about that, watch my video tutorial part called Without Diagnostic and Tuning Pack License. If you do have a diagnostic and tuning pack license, you have the built-in and official active session history and real-time SQL monitoring features at your disposal, which are great and overcome most of the limitations and bugs of the v$pqtqstat view, but unfortunately the way Oracle makes the information available comes with its own bugs and limitations. I've therefore invented a tool called Xplan Ash, which is a complex SQL plus script and is supposed to overcome most of these limitations and bugs. If you want to learn more about that, watch the video tutorial part called Using Diagnostic and Tuning Pack License. If you happen to have a problem with SKU, there are various options how you can address the problem, starting from getting the data volume estimates of the optimizer, of the optimizer right, to uh, influencing distribution methods using the PQ distribute and PQ map, hints to influencing the join order, but most of the time to actually address SKU you need to rewrite the queries. If you want to learn more about that, read my serious parallel execution SKU at allthingsoracle.com.